Hey, Rick Arter here. This is a video response to the video about stable voltages from Mega Rice. Uh, everything you said seemed kind of complicated to understand, but I think people can get it. Uh, the only thing that you didn't mention was uh, you were talking about raising the voltage on the CPU. Well, people, I think, need to know that there's a limit, and uh, if people start frying their processors, you know, it's not going to really be good, and they're going to be kind of mad. So basically, here's what we're going to do. Do the most popular processors out there, uh, AMD CPUs, doesn't matter which one, uh, for 24-7 operation, under load, overclocking, keep it under 1.5 volts, you know, a tenth, you know, a, a hundredth under, a hundredth over, maybe, you know, you'd be alright. But um, then moving on to the um, 65 nanometer Intel dual and quad core CPUs, like the Q6600, the E6300, E6600, E4500, all the 65 nanometers, uh, those can take 1.5 24-7. Um, a lot of people will only run them 1.45, but I've had no problem, and I don't know anybody else that's had a problem running them 1.5. Uh, on air, you can push it to 1.55, but I probably wouldn't just because your temps are going to be so high. Water, now nah, you can maybe get away with it, but you're going to shorten the life of your processor. Uh, 1.6 and above, you're going to need water or uh, thermoelectric or phase or anything you know above that because anytime you run above 1.6 to 1.7 on a 65 nanometer I mean without you know almost negative temperatures your lifespan of your processor is going to be like a year you know what I'm saying depending on I mean it really doesn't matter what clock speed you're running at because it's just very high voltage um, anyway, moving on, the new Intel uh, 45 nanometers, very low voltage, low heat, uh, very good steppings, like the uh, E8400, the Q9300, um, all those, basically 45 nanometer. Uh, those can take, I believe it's 1.3675 or 3.6, or 3. Point Sorry, 1.376 volts, 24/7 max, spec by Intel. And uh, I would say, as far as air and water, just your basic overclocking, playing games, not going for a world record, I wouldn't push more than 1.3875 or maybe 1.4 for short benchmarking periods, because anything higher than that, I mean, like, I mean, of course, you've seen people liquid nitrogen push it to 1.6, 1.7, like the 65s, but it's going to last, you know, probably a day at that voltage with the 45 nanometer, you know, with air or water. There's just no way. But anyway, that's all I had to say. I hope you guys learned something. Um, check out more of my videos. Check out more of Me Got Rice videos. Uh, he does some cool shit. And uh, that's about all i got to say. Uh, more videos to come. Thanks for watching. And uh, thanks to all my great 348 subscribers that I have. You guys are great. Um, anyway, that's Rick Arter. Thanks for watching. Bye.